Since this is a mixing course, I'll be using Studio One's mixer quite a bit, so let me give you an overview of how to use the mixer. To pull up the mixer, you can click here, or you can press F3 to open the mixer as well. But you may have to press the function key, then F3, depending on how you have your function key set up on your computer. So just keep that in mind for all F key shortcuts. You can detach the mixer by clicking on this arrow button here. This is especially helpful if you have a second display to move this over to so you can see the song page and your mixer at the same time. Each of these in the mixer is a channel strip and corresponds to a specific track in the mix. The icon at the bottom denotes what type of track or channel strip it is. These are audio channels, and this is a bus channel, one of the ones that I created in the previous video. If I press T to create another track, like an instrument track, for example, and I load up a software instrument on this, a corresponding channel will show up for this instrument in the mixer. Note here the icon for instrument channels. Each channel has mute, solo, arm for recording, and input monitor controls. However, I won't be using arm and input monitor in this course because I won't be doing any recording. A quick way to solo or mute a channel is to press S to solo and M to mute the channel. Note that when you solo a channel, it mutes all of the other channels. And if you solo a bus, it solos all of the other tracks going to that bus as well. If you want a track to never be muted when another track is soloed, you can put the track in solo safe mode. To do this, hold shift while clicking on the solo button and it'll turn green. So if I solo safe my two shaker tracks like so, even if I solo my bass guitar, you'll notice that the shakers will not be muted. They'll be soloed along with the bass. You can shift click again to turn this off. There's also a fader on each channel that ranges from plus 10 to negative infinity. The fader adds or reduces volume on the channel in dBFS values or full scale. This is a digital scale for decibels in the DAW world. If you command click on a fader or control click on a PC, this will return the fader to zero dB or unity gain as it's called because there's not added or reduced gain. Now as far as the meters and metering levels and the main channel are concerned, I'll come back to those in the next video when I start setting levels in my mix. At the top of the channels there are empty slots for effects inserts and effects sends. To add an insert to a channel, just click on the plus button and select the effect, like a compressor for example. To add another, just click the plus button again. So this time maybe I'll choose the Pro EQ. You can activate or deactivate each plugin by clicking here, or toggle all of the inserts on a channel on or off by clicking here. To remove an insert, just right click and choose remove. There's also some different ways to view the channels in the mixer. You can use these icons to show or hide all of a particular type of channel. For example, if I click here, this will hide all of my buses as well as the channels going to those buses. I can click here to hide my one instrument channel, and I can click here to hide all of my audio channels. Note that the hidden channels are grayed out in the channel list, which itself can be hidden or shown by clicking here. There's two additional types of channels, effects channels and VCAs, which I'll talk about in a later video. You can also pick and choose which channels in the mixer are shown or hidden by clicking on the white dot in the channel list. Just note that hidden channels will still sound unless they're muted, of course. Instruments in the mixer can be hidden or shown by clicking here as well. If you click here, you can toggle between a narrow and normal view of the channels. In narrow view, the meters are on top. And if you click here, you can toggle between a small and a large view. Note that in small view, it hides the inserts and sends. However, if you click on this expand button here, you can show your inserts and sends again. Under the options icon, there's a few more organizational features. This one in particular, preserve order of channels with folder track. I like to keep this one on because when you turn it off, all of the buses get pushed over to the right side of the mixer. When you turn this on, it keeps them with their folders. And lastly, there's an option to show channel notes. This is nice if you want to make a note to self for later on a channel. So that's an overview of the mixer in Studio One. In the next video, I'll start building a rough mix with just levels and pan.